Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are going to study anatomy of skull. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so we are going to study anatomy of skull. So before starting the lecture, so here is the logo of our official app. So in this app, you will get many uh, courses related to forensic science. The name of the app is Forensic Science UGC Net. So the name already suggests that it is uh, you know useful for those students who are preparing for UGC net and forensic science so you will get many courses here and those students who, who are not even preparing for UGC net forensic science they can up uh, they can download the app from the Google store or Google Play store and App Store so that they can get the free videos and free study material and you can also jo join our telegram channel so in this uh, in the telegram channel I will paste this PDF this, this lecture is PDF okay so in the previous video we have already covered ossification the two important pathways of ossification that PDF I'll be going to post there in the telegram only so you guys can join the telegram you can get the PDF from there only okay so today uh, the topic is anatomy of skull so we are going to see the anatomy of skull what is skull and how it looks like so, uh, so the skull is a bony structure so it comes under our skeleton system right so skull is a bony structure because it is made up of bones so what it does it supports your face so skull supports the face and form the protective cavity it forms the protective cam cavity to protect the bone uh, sorry to protect the brain I, excuse me i i said bone it's brain so our skull is supportive for your facial tissues for it supports your face and it will protect it's going to protect your brain so uh, skull is nothing but the protection cavity a cage for the brain so it comprises of many bones the skull is not one bone it is comprises of many bones which are formed by intramembranous ossification so it is formed by which method intramembranous ossification so your uh, brain uh, bony structures made through intramembranous ossification and these small bones and these different bones joined together to form the skull and the uh, the, the joints are known as uh, we call them sutures so these are your fibrous joints the different bones of the skull joins together with fibrous joints named as sutures so we are going to study about sutures in upcoming videos we will see what sutures are where it's i mean present in the skull the location of sutures in the skull and over the time when the person grows old these sutures fuses together so because of that you can even estimate the age of that particular skull you have okay so this is another thing so the skull is a bony structure it supports your face it protects your brain and it is formed by intramembranous ossification it is formed by intramembranous ossification and these different bones join together by sutures this thing is clear now we can categorize or we can make two groups of uh, skull bone so we can categorize bone of the skull first category is cranium first one is cranium and the other one is facial bone so first is cranium bones and facial bones so these two bones combine together to to make the whole skull okay so these two bones cranium bones and facial bones so uh, even we can uh, you know categorize cranium bones all, all as well so we can uh, we can categorize like cranium cranial roof and cranial base so those uh, those bones which make the roof of the skull they are cranial roof and the base which make the base so that is known as cranial base and the rest of the bones are in the facial ones so these this is the structure of the skull so what we can say this area is cranium this whole area is cranium and this area is your facial bone okay so this is your cranium this is your cranium and this is your face, facial bone or face. So those uh, bones which comes under this area will be known as cranium bones and this area will be known as facial bones. So let's see the cranium bone first. So the cranium is also known as neurocranium. So what's the name of 
what's the other name for cranium cranium is also known as neurocranium okay so it is also known as neurocranium it is formed by uh, it is formed by superior aspect of skull and this cranium is formed by the superior portion of the skull the so the superior area you can say it in it encloses and encloses and protects the brain so these craniums these bone of craniums you know uh, enclose to one another and it will protect your brain so anatomically we can categorize these cranium bones into two first is roof first one is roof and then face so what are the bones which come under cranial roof and cranial base so the cranial roof is made up of frontal bone occipital bone and two parietal bones so where are the frontal bones so this is the frontal bone this comes under the cranial roof this is the parietal bone parietal bone come under the cranial roof and occipital bone occipital bone is also uh, is is under the cranial roof so parietal bones the the all the bones we are looking from this angle have the same the other side so two cranium bones we have two cranium bones we will count the bone um, number okay after make after uh, you know reading these ppts we will make a flow chart of the skull bones and then we can count the bones how many bones are there so uh, for for formation of whole skull it it includes 22 bones only so eight bones in your cranium and 14 bones on your face so this is the number of bone to so in the cranium bone you have frontal occipital and two parietal bones in the base area what you have in the base area you have six bones okay so you have frontal bones again you have sphenoid bone you have ethmoid bone you have occipital bone again you have parietal bone and temporal bone so these are the bones which makes your cranial base so these bones get uh, come together and makes your cranium so where where is the temporal bone so this is your temporal bone this is here is your sphenoid bone and this is your ethmoid bone so these are your bones so the, these bones makes your cranial base and apart from these um, apart from these bones the other bones are facial bones so this is your cranial roof and cranial base uh, apart from this these bones articulate to your first cervical vertebra that known as atlas so all these bones your whole skull will articulate to your first cervical vertebra that's name is atlas okay the facial bone and mandible is also included in it your facial bone and mandible is also included in that thing okay so it associate articulates with your first a uh, first uh, cervi cervical vertebra that is atlas now cranium is finished coming to the facial bones so facial bones are also we can call it skele uh, facial skeleton it is also uh, also known as viscerocranium it is also known as viscerocranium and it supports the soft tissues on your face it supports supports the soft tissue of, on your brain so it consists of 14 bone bones as i said that eight cranium bones and 14 Uh, facial bones so these four facial bones fuses together to house the orbits okay the 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 area the uh, cavity for your eye that is known as orbit so these 14 small 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 bones will fuse together in the house of orbit for the eyes and your nasal cavity your oral cavity and the sinus so these different 14 bone come along to make the facial bones the frontal bone typically a bone that uh, of the clavera is sometimes include as a part of facial skeleton so what we do sometimes people uh, include your frontal bone in your facial skeleton some people include that facial bone in the frontal uh, in the in the facial skeleton as well so this is one information now coming to different bones what are the bones so we have zygomatic bones so zygomatic bones are your cheek bones these are your cheek bones and they have two we have two zygomatic bones in number so these form your cheek bones of the face and it articulates with the frontal bone sphenoid bone temporal bone or your mat and with your maxilla so maxilla is your upper jaw mandible is your lower jaw 
okay so these cheek bones these zygomatic bones will articulate with frontal sphenoid temporal and maxilla bone second bone is your lacrimal bone again two in number so these are the smallest bone for your face these are smallest bone on your face they form part of the medieval wall of the orbit so they they make the medieval wall of your orbit like ramel bones next is nasal bone nasal bones are the two slender bones again to be number two slender bones that are located at the bridge of your nose these bones are located in the bridge of your nose so these are nasal bones again inferior nasal concha that is i n c again two in number these bones are located within the nasal cavity so within the nasal cavity they are located within the nasal cavity these bones increases the surface area for the nasal cavity so what they do they increase the surface area for your nasal cavity okay and eventually it increases the amount of inspired air that can come into contact with the cavity wall next is palatine or palatine whatever so we have two in number situated at the rear or oral cavity rear rear side of the oral cavity and forms the hard palate it forms the hard palate of your uh, oral cavity you can say next is maxilla your upper jaw it comprises of it is again two in number comprises uh, the part of your upper jaw and hard palate okay it makes your hard palate and upper jaw this is the vomer bone next in line is vomer bone it forms the posterior aspect of the nasal septum which part posterior part posterior aspect of your nasal septum that is vomer bone then next in line is your lower jaw or you can say jaw the mandible so it articulates with the base of the cranium so it gets joined to the base of the cranium this is uh, this is not 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 joined with the uh, sutures and all it is joined with the tempor temporal mandibular joint that is tmj temporo temporo mandibular joint so this is the joint which is here this is your lower jaw this is your lower jaw and it gets joint with your skull from here that is tmj that is this this joint is known as tmj temporo mandibular joint so the, these are the your these are your facial skull this uh, sorry these are your facial bones so what we have uh wait a minute i'll make a chart of it so first we have uh, let's let's make a space here i write skull skull here cranium face okay so uh, in the facial side you have maxilla into we have already counted right but let's write it maxilla two palatine bones two in number after palatine bone we have nasal bones nasal bones two in number inferior nasal concha i am writing inc that is two in number in the next in the line we have uh, zygomatic bone zygomatic again two in number and then we have lacrimal lacrimal again two in number then we have vomer one and we have mandible one mandible one so all total 14 bones in the cranium you have occipital bone occipital bone one occipital bone and then we have parietal 
parietal bone two in number frontal frontal bone one in number then we have temporal temporal bone we have two in number then we have sphenoid sphenoid one in number and ethmoid one in number one in number so these are the cranium bones so eight in number so all total 22 bones this will make your skull apart from it we have some associated bones or also associated bones so you have ear ossicles so three three bones in one ear so all total six bones and one hyoid bone so one hyoid bone so total seven associated bones so this is your skull anatomy if you have any doubt any kind of doubt please paste your doubt in the comment section we will uh, clear it and uh, if you like this video you can uh, subscribe to the channel or you can share with your friends and have a great great day ahead please do join us on telegram and with the app so see you in the next lecture have a great day ahead bye